Hello children. So today we are going to learn and study about conventions with the perspective of competitive exams like ADA, CLAT, and various other competitive exams. So before we start today's lecture of understanding the topics and questions which generally come in the various competitive exams, let us understand very briefly that what are conventions. So conjunctions are defined in a very simple language and they are called the joining words. Because conjunctions join two words, two phrases, sentences or clauses together. If we talk about the kinds of conjunctions, conjunctions are of three types. Subordinating conjunction, coordinating conjunction and correlative conjunction. And this, in this today's particular lecture, we are going to focus and study only and only about correlative conjunctions. But that doesn't mean that the question never comes from subordinating conjunction and coordinating conjunctions. But first of all, we will take up correlative conjunctions and we will see that what type of questions are asked from correlative conjunction. And once we are done with correlative conjunctions, of course, we are going to study subordinating and coordinating conjunctions as well. Now, children, I have already made, you know, the, about the kinds and definitions of conjunctions going back in my series of parts of speech. So, if you go and refer to my uh, previous videos of parts of a speech part 1, into that you will definitely get to see other very fundamental and basic knowledge and ideas I have already shared and explained in that very first lecture of the series of the lectures called the parts of a speech. Right? So now let us study in today's topic that is correlative conjunction. Is that clear? So today we are going to study correlative conjunctions. What are correlative conjunctions, children? For correlative conjunctions, for correlative conjunctions as such, no very specific definitions are given. It's only said that if in, if in the name of correlative conjunctions, if we go and try to find that what are correlative conjunctions. So about correlative conjunctions, only one information is given that they are always used in pair. So correlative conjunctions are always used in pair. These conjunctions, these conjunctions are always used in pair. This is one thing is certain and sure about correlative conjunctions, right? That correlative conjunctions are always used in pair. Now let us see that what are all important correlative conjunctions. Fine. So there are some eight to nine or six to seven to eight to nine. These correlative conjunctions are there. So let us see. In number one, I, I generally you know like to. Uh, and this with not only but also, not only but also. So this is one we have taken. Second is neither nor. Neither nor is always followed by neither is always followed by not. And then either or. And the next both and. Next. Though yet next whether or next hardly or you can also say scarcely is always followed with them when sorry and no sooner is always used with than and less as used with should. So what you are going to do first? The first step in the process of learning correlative conjunctions is to know their combination. Right? That with not only we are always going to use but also. Right? With neither we are always used to go, but we are always used to uh, have to use not. With either we are always supposed to use or. Both 
it will always be with an though it is always used with yet whether it is always used with or hardly and scarcely is always used with when no sooner is always used with than and less is always used with should right so sometimes you know children it is not that you know they will give you the question and they will change the combination sometimes it also might they also might get right like in the rest with the hardly and scarcely they will always give than and with no sooner they use when so this this also you need to keep in your mind that with what what are supposed to be used so this is the first step in the process of learning and having a good command over correlative conjunctions is that clear let me tell you once again what are correlative conjunctions so correlative conjunctions are those conjunctions which are always used in pair right so here we have some nine the pairs of this correlative conjunctions let me tell you not only is followed with or but also neither nor either is used with or both is used with and though is used with yet whether is used with or hardly scarcely is used with when no sooner is used with than and less is used with should right now we will individually study right that if the question comes with not only but also so what type of question you know comes when we have to focus and understand not only but also very nicely and then by and by we are going to study all these fine so today we are going to take up this first the very first this conjunctions in the group of correlative conjunctions that is not only but also now before i start teaching you telling you things that how this not only but also conjunctions comes in use when we need to combine two different sentences or let us understand that this not only but also conjunctions this combine what type of sentences right so not only but also combines two different sentences not only but also combines when the two when the subjects of the two different sentences are same this is condition number 1 so what is the condition number 1 the condition number 1 for the use of not only but also is when the subjects of two different sentences are same this is one this is under condition 1 now for the uh, what different other type of sentences you know are combined with the help of not only but also now there are another set of sentences where the subjects of two different sentences are different right so we can combine two different sentences with the same subject with not only but also and we can also combine two different sentences with the different subjects using this not only but also right so we are going to see number 1 you know when when the subjects when the subjects of two different sentences two different sentences are same right so what we are going to see we are going to see the use of not only but also when the subjects of two different sentences are same let us see rohit is playing chess rohit is watching tv see ya rohit is playing chess rohit is watching tv there are two sentences but you know the subject of both the sentences are same and is is also same so first you need to understand what is common in both the sentences so rohit is playing chess so here rohit is and for the sentence rohit is watching tv here rohit is both are common so when the subjects are common so we need to start with this rohit is we will write this then we will write not only after that we will write whatever is left in the first sentence plain chess then we going to write but also and after that we will write from another sentence rohit and after that we will write whatever is left in the second part of the sentence is that clear let me tell you once again what is the technique for this 
so the technique is see this is the common part rohit is rohit is so first we are going to write right rohit is we have written now we need to write not only not only so what is left from the first sentence now playing chess we will write playing chess now we need to write playing chess now we will write what also we will write what also and after that we will write the remaining part of the sentence remaining part of the rohit is not only watching chess playing chess but also watching tv hence the sentence is done see it's so simple have you understood the technique what was the technique that first we need to write down the common part so rohit is the common part so i have written rohit is after that we need to write not only so i have written here not only after that we write whatever left from the first sentence so playing chess was left from the first sentence so i have written playing chess after that what after that i have written but also so after that i have written but but also and the next part whatever was left from the sentence second sentence i have written this has the sentences combined is that clear now let us see another sentence fine sohan eats and apple sohan solves sums see you again again we have two different sentences sohan eats an apple and here sohan solves sums what is common common is sohan this name is common in both the sentences subject is common so first we got to write the common subject so here sohan after that what we are supposed to write not only so we will write not only after that what we write the remaining part of the first sentence so remaining part of the first sentence is it's an apple after that what we are supposed to write we are supposed to write but also we have written but also after that what we are supposed to write we are supposed to write the remaining part of the sentence that is solves sums and hence they have combined so finally the sentence becomes like this sohan not only eats an apple but also solves sums let us see one more sentence girls are watching tv girls are making a noise so same thing let us see what is common in both the sentence subjects are common so here there is also girls are in the first sentence and second sentence there is also girls are fine so what is the common part so girls are the common part so that we have to write first so we will write girls are then what we are supposed to write those are the this not only not only this remaining part of the first sentence watching tv what we are supposed to write next next we write supposed to write but also and after that the remaining part of the sentence that is making a noise is that clear children so hence the sentence is combined and we have got the sentence girls are not only watching tv but also making a noise is that clear now here i would like to tell you one thing more see here in the first sentence not only is used before playing so but also will also be used before watching because watching and playing both are verb so this you need to take care for second sentence you see here not only is used before eats which is this which is a verb and here but also is also used before solves which is also a verb and in third sentence not only is used before watching and hence here but also is also used before making this is which is a verb also right so that is what we have seen here we have seen the use of correlative conjunction not only but also to combine two sentences where the subjects are common now we going to see the use of not only but also to combine two different sentences where the subjects will be different right so now we are going to study
the another use of you know the use of not only but also in other way that is you know when the when there are two subjects sentences and then the subjects are different condition number 2 b is you know when the subjects of the sentences are different now we want to see the use of not only but also to combine two sentences where the subjects are different so let us see and here the technique will be a bit different i will tell you a bit uh, take an example if i say mohan is playing football sohan is playing football this is just like mathematics you know it's the trick it's so nice see here mohan here the first the subject for the first sentence is mohan and here the subject for the second sentence is sohan which is different so when the subjects are different you know and here yeah, rest of the part is same see mohan is playing football and here he is playing football so when the subjects are different we need to start with not only but also see we need to start with not only not only then write the first sentence mohan right then you write on but also sohan and then since he is playing football he is playing football is common so we will write he is playing football and the sentence is combined see let's see once again what was the sentence sentence was mohan is mohan is playing football and here was sohan is playing football here the name was different right that's why we have to start with not only mohan but also sohan is playing football let us take one another example ram went to delhi sham went to delhi see here here the subjects are different here it is ram for the sentence and for the sentence it is sham right and rest of the part is same here also went to delhi here also went to delhi so since the subjects are different so we need to start with not only so we need to start with not only not only ram and then we need to write but also but also sham and since the rest part of the sentence is same so we can write any part when to then fine so the sentence combine not only ram but also sham when to then now let us see one other example and that is teachers teachers are talking girls are talking see here the sentence the subject is different here it is subjects here the subjects as teachers and here the subject is girls right so we need to start since the subjects are different so we need to start with not only but not only not only teachers that we need to write but also girls and since this part you know is same are talking are talking so we can write the same here are talking now here i would like to tell you one thing so if you are you know if the two sentences combine with but also not not only but also so the verb is always with the second subject you know second subject is girls that's why it is not the second subject is sham it's when and the second subject is here is sohan is present so that's a different story fine so here we have seen the use of not only but also in two different ways to combine first to combine those two sentences where the subjects are same so when the subjects are same so we need to write with the common subject that we need to write not only then then we write that we need to write the remaining part of the sentence but also and then the remaining part of the second sentence but when the subject of two different sentences are different and in that case we need to start with the not only but also it's clear now 
Now I just give you two more examples, and where I show you, you know, that I give you an incorrect sentence, and you need to tell me that why is it wrong. Is that clear? Now, having done all this thing, discuss not only but also in detail, I am going to give you two examples, and those two examples will be wrong, right? And you need to tell me why are they wrong, and if they are wrong, what would be the correct what would be their correct answer? Fine. Sohan is Sohan is watching Sohan is not only watching No, we can say like this Sohan is watching that will be wrong Sohan is watching not only TV but also solving sums see this is one sentence read the sentence once again sohan is watching not only tv but also solving sums can you tell me what is wrong in this sentence you know on surface you would feel that the sentence seems to be quite fine and there is nothing wrong with the sentence but it is wrong tell me what is wrong and i have already mentioned this point just now in the previous day in the before example what we have done just look at the position of not only but also not only is here and but also is here and the answer lies in this one see but also is before solving which is verb and here not only is before tv which is noun that's why it is wrong that's why it is wrong only you need to change what you know you need to bring not only here and then the sentence becomes correct and how the sentence becomes correct sohan is not only watching tv but also solving sums and it becomes correct why because here not only is before now and here but also before verb that's why it's, it's not balanced so if you change the position so how the sentence finally becomes correct it becomes correct it be right sohan is not only not only watching not only watching tv but also solving sums see here they they have done the right here not only is there it's before watching watching is verb and here it is but also it is before solving is also verb fine so this sentence is not right and this is not wrong now let me give you one more example not only not only ram help me but also give me money what is wrong this sentence is actually wrong the matter is so what is wrong in this sentence not only ram help me but also give me money so you know so we can understand but we get not only ram help me but also give me money but you know that means here the subject is same ram help me and only ram give me money so i have told you that when the subjects are same we are never going to start with not only we start a sentence with not only only when the subjects are different so that's why we need to place it here ram not only ram not only help me but also give me money so now the sentence becomes correct because you know see here not only is before help and here but also before help and how can you start a sentence with not only when the subjects are common we can start a sentence with not only only when the subject is uncommon is that clear children so today in this lecture of correlative conjunctions we are only done with not only but also and in that list i have shown that there are some eight to nine correlative conjunctions and all these correlative conjunctions are very important from the point of view of competitive exams and we need to see and we need to study all since it was the first day that's why i have taken more time to make you understand with the same things 
and next in the coming lecture we will be discussing about either or neither not which are on a very similar track so you won't take much of time to understand and uh, to to understand and i won't take much of time to explain it also is that clear so keep on learning prepare yourself and you will see that you are very nicely getting prepared for the competitive exam is that clear thank you and god bless you